Hey guys, I hope you're well and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you're interested in this broken doll look that I created, please keep watching. It is super easy and if I can do it, anyone can, trust me. So keep on watching if you're interested and let me know what you think. Hey guys, okay, so I've started off, I've already done my face base, so it's completely up to you what you want to use foundation wise, um, concealer wise and powder wise. Ignore my baby hairs by the way, they are really real today and just... But yes, so for my foundation I use the Bullness Way foundation in, what colour is it? In warm beige and I also use my favourite concealer at the moment, the Conceal and Define by Revolution and I put it under my eyes and I put a little bit on my chin and then I powdered it off. So I've got my base done so it's completely up to you what you use. Now we're going to go straight in with the look. So for inspo, um, I was literally on YouTube just like looking at inspiration, you know, seeing what's hot right now and you know, just Halloween makeup and I wanted to do something quite simple but really effective for my first Halloween makeup look and I came across this on YouTube um, I don't know if you can see it's like the I really liked the cheekbone look and idea and so um, uh, for this look I was inspired by like the cheekbones and then the big kind of doll eyes and now she was actually described as a um, a zombie um, but to me it's quite like doll like and um, yeah, so I kind of just have that to run off inspiration by. And yeah, so we're just gonna roll with it. I don't really know what I'm gonna end up with, but I really want to do kind of a broken doll look. So I'm gonna start off with the cheekbones, the really cool cheekbones, because I just feel like it, it will frame the face and frame the look. So I'm going in with a detailed brush and I'm gonna use the Beached Bronzer by Urban Decay. And um, yeah, so literally just getting a bronzer, getting a thin detailed brush, and that's how we're gonna frame the cheekbones. So yeah, let's just go straight into it. I'm now going to get a blending brush for my eyeshadow, one that I always use for my eyeshadow, and it's the Zoeva 221 Luke's Soft Crease. <coughs> I'm now going to go back in with the um, bronzer, and I'm just going to darken under the line that we just made. Okay, I'm now going to highlight the bit above the cheekbones, and I'm going to use one of my favourite palettes at the moment, the Tartius Pro. And I'm going to go in with these two colours, so it's kind of like a warm and then it's like a real pink to highlight what we have done here. Now using the Revolution Soph uh, Extra Spice palette, I'm going to go in with the colour Cookie Dough because it's ever so... Um, uh, it's just a little bit darker than my bronzer, but like not a lot. I just need kind of a light matte brown just to define the lines a little bit more. Okay, now that we have got the face and the cheekbones done, we are now going to go in to the big kind of eye look under the eyes. So what I'm going to do is because um, I want, I kind of want it. Do I want it matte or do I want it glittery? I'm unsure, but I'm just going to get a little bit more concealer and I'm going to pop it under the eye, kind of in the shape I want. So they are going to be our eyes. Ooh. So I'm going to use the Revolution Bake and Finish Powder, and it is in the Ghost Finish, which is perfect because that is very relatable to this video. And using a detailed brush of whatever you want, I'm just patting this into the concealer. So what we've just done, I'm just gonna pop the baking finish powder on top of it. Okay, now that you've put the white all over the concealer, I'm just gonna get a detailed brush and I'm just gonna wipe away any, you know, spillage. Is that the right word? <laughs> A horrible word. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the um, the extra spice palette again. I'm gonna go in with that cookie dough. Like I said, I just need a light brown just to yeah define what we've just done. I'm now gonna do the other eye, and then we will go on to the eyelashes. We're gonna finish the eye off. Then um, I really want to do that kind of doll um, chin. If you get me. 
kind of want to make the under eye glittery so I'm going to grab I'm like covered in the baking powder ah! okay so I'm gonna grab a Kiko eyeshadow and it is um, 01 it is the smart color eyeshadow so I'm it's just a little bit shimmered so it's like a really nice um, metallic so I'm just going to get my finger and I'm just going to pat that on to what we've just done under the eye. I'm just going to go in with that bronzer that I used, the um, uh, Urban Decay one, and I'm just going to blend in this. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with Cheesecake on the Extra Spice palette, and I'm just going to add some eyeshadow just in my crease so we can start blending all of this out. Oh, I look so good right now. I'm going to go in with the brownies and I'm just going to blend that in with the uh, cheesecake shade that we just put on. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to pop it in infinity and in every day. I'm just kind of going to mix the two. Just, you know, why not? I'm just going to pop that. Now, this is so pigmented, I was like, well, I need concealer. But to be honest, no, I really don't. So now that my eye shadow is kind of done or do I want to like add more? Hmm. Let me do my eyebrows because they're bothering me. <laughs> now I'm just going to go in with the Revolution Medium Brown um, Pomade for the eyebrows. Now taking the concealer I'm just going to shape the eyebrow. starting to look like normal you know um we're gonna go in and we're gonna um put some eyeliner in there we're gonna do the lashes we're gonna have some fun I'm very excited I don't know if I should do like very individual kind of thick only like five lashes or something or if I should go to town and do quite a few I think I might go to town and do quite a few <laughs> I've got two of these liquid eyeliner pens and the revolution one was a little bit of a disappointment it just went dry very quickly um, and I actually got sent this I think I did this video right at the beginning and uh, maybe like right before summer maybe um, and it was my very first kind of makeup review and <laughs> And it was from Beauty Big Bang, and I was so impressed with the eyeliner. I'm gonna use that. Let's give it a shh. Now the trick to doing the um, eyelashes is I like to do lots of random kind of shaped ones because it looks more kind of realistic. I feel. This is very good stuff, very, very good stuff. I'm now going to join an eyeliner, kind of join it, you know? Ta -da! I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, we are rolling with it. Okay, now that I've done the eyeliner, I'm actually going to go in and make the corner of my eyes a little darker just so it kind of blends in. And then I'm thinking about doing lashes um, over my eyes as well, just so it kind of looks all together and yeah, blend it in. When I was reviewing this palette, um, the Extra Spice, a few videos ago, I remember that the matte black in it was very, very good, very pigmented. So... I'm going to grab that Anastasia blending brush just because I absolutely love this brush and I'm just going to pop it in here and we are going to make the corner just a little bit darker like so and I'm now going to go in with yeah I haven't even picked up that revolution one I absolutely love this beauty big bang one and we're going to do some lashes and this is where I mess it up <laughs> Okay, not bad. Oh my god, I haven't messed up. I have not messed up, it is going well. I've taken the smaller end on the Anastasia brush, I'm going to pop it into that um, black, and we are just going to 
put that under the eye just to blend. Yeah, because I now feel like it's kind of his mimic. I look much bigger. Decent! I'm just going to use one of these tiny little brushes just to... Wah! Wah! Yeah. Blend. Blend. Don't do that. Okay, now for the mascara. I'm going to put some mascara on my eyes and I'm going to add some lashes as well. We're going to go all out, focus on this kind of part, and then we'll be done. Okay, now that my eye's down, I really want to blend those lashes in because I can see that it's quite... Although, will my, oh, will my lashes hide it? I don't know. I might put a little bit more darker eyeshadow just to blend that out, as you can see in the crease, yeah? Yeah, I'll probably blend that out more. I'm going to go in with that dark brown again and that black and I'm just going to take that oh my god that looks so much better already yeah I just need a little bit more blending okay so I've just popped a little bit of highlighter on my brow bone and I used the Jouer I've spoken about this so many times I love it and it is in rose gold now because I'm a doll hey I'm I need a bit of blusher don't I so I'm gonna use my favorite blush palette it is the revolution one and I'm gonna go in with these two colors at the top and I'm just gonna it doesn't matter because I kind of created my own little cheeks but now before I put on the lashes I think I'm gonna do lashes and highlighter last just because I don't usually use lashes and just in case I can't see we are gonna attempt that a doll mouth. Now I feel like this is where I'm gonna mess up. That looks kind of creepy already. Okay I'm gonna make that line thicker and then I kind of want it to be like dark inside of my lips so it looks even freakier so the line, the broken bit is kind of connected taking that amazing detail brush which I feel like I use in everything <laughs> I'm going in with the cookie dough and the cheesecake so just to start blending this yeah, I'm going to use that baking powder, the one that we used for under the eye because this is white and that's kind of what I need. Yeah, so that's better man. Blah, 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 blah. I'm, I want to highlight the cheekbones more so I'm just going to take that bacon powder and put a little bit up here. Oh my god that has done the trick. It's really worked. Okay, so now I need to add the little kind of buttons here because otherwise it's holding on by nothing. <laughs> and I'm just going to add a little bit of, um, what's the word, highlight before I put the black over. Because otherwise if I use like, if I draw like black um, buttons and then I try to shadow it or try to highlight it, it'll just cover what I've done. So I'm actually going to do that first. I'm just going to use that baking powder again. And I'm just going to kind of put a little bit on each side just so we've got the base to work with. Now onto the lips. So I'm gonna use the Kiko Creamy Color Liner and it is in shade 318. So I think I just kinda of wanna match it with my eyeshadow color. So kinda of like a dull dark pink. I was thinking, will I do red? But no, match it to the eyeshadow. And for the top lips, I kind of want to make them higher and then narrower than my actual lips, just so they have that kind of more, more of like a doll look. I'm now going to use the Body Shop Matte Liquid Lip in colour Nairobi Ner, Camellia, whatever. <laughs> Um, but it's in shade 034, the um, number, and it's this lovely dark pink, which I think will match perfectly with the eyeshadow. So let's go in with that. Now that we've got the lip kind of base on, we are now going to add that black in the lips, just so it all kind of comes together. Okay, so I've just wet the um, eyeshadow. And going in with the brush, I am going to create kind of the inner line, so I'm bad at explaining things, you'll see, you'll see. Okay, 
Okay, now I don't want to get it on my, on my teeth. <laughs> All I want to do is I'm going to highlight. Because I'm a broken doll, I need to add like a broken bit on my head, obviously. So let's do that next. And then we'll highlight, add the lashes. And then it's finished. Okay, now that I've got roughly kind of the shape of the hole, I'm now going to highlight and then shadow it to make it look, you know, 3D and it will pop out. I'm going to take that tiny little brush again, I'm going to put it in to the um, powder, that baking powder. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm just going to go over it again with the black, um, just to make it pop more because we've kind of dulled down the edges of the line a little bit. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to go in with the spice palette, I'm going to go in with that cookie dough colour again, I'm going to get some on that detail brush, and I'm just going to go around the highlights that I've done to make it 3D, so you'll see what I mean. I just redid my lips a little bit, I just um, tidied it up because my um, camera died and then um, I was hungry so I just had a little snack. <laughs> so I just had to redo my lips a little bit and, and now let's do the lashes, do some highlighter and then add the wig and we will be done. Okay, now they are on, I'm just going to darken my eyebrows just so it blends in with the dark look of the eye and also my wig to finish the look. And before I finish and put the wig on, I'm just going to add some highlight on my nose, on the lips, up the sides. Do you know what? Pop it everywhere because I love highlight. Okay, and now it is time to put on the wig. I'm so excited. Let's finish this look off. And um, yeah, so that is you done. This is the broken doll. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I don't think I need to add any more. I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. I hope you really enjoyed that. And let's finish off the look. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm going to show you how I put it on. So I'm going to put all of my hair up into a really, really tight, kind of low bobble. And I'm going to hairspray it. So I will show you like so. So you can see a little bun. I'm now going to hairspray the edges of my hair. And I'm going to get a comb. I'm just try and get rid of my baby hairs, but I know it won't work. Um, I think I might need more hairspray. <laughs> so you get a black and a nude mask, kind of like a head net like this, and so yeah, let's put it on. This keeps all of the baby hairs away. Okay, now here's the wig. So it comes on like a kind of mesh material and it came quite long so I just cut it close to the edge uh, just so it doesn't show as much. And then in here you have all of the clips that clip onto your hair and you also have the attachment here at the back where you can tighten it to your head. So you then clip that on. So I'm just going to pop this on and finish the look off. I'm going to put it behind my ears so it kind of gives it... I don't know, just more of, um, because I don't want it just to hang down, I want it to have a bit of texture, a bit of shape. And that is us done! <laughs> okay guys, so that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and remember that notification button so you know when I'm going to post next, and what look I'll do next. I'm loving Halloween so far, I cannot wait to show you what I've got up my sleeve. I'll next see you Friday, so I hope you have a great day, and have a great week, and I will see you guys then. Bye!